from a lesser known locality in the Congo, the Kopata deposit. Um, I don't, I don't know if this, this is probably from the copper belt, maybe from the edges of the copper belt, because there's not much copper on here. You have a matrix of uh, dolomite almost, a crust of dolomite, and sitting on that are these quartz crystals, which are uh, pretty large for, for quartzes from the copper belt. And then dusting those would be some hematite, the grey, and then sitting in between that little green ball there would be some malachite as well. Um, from a display point of view, it would stand flat like this, going around on the turntable. Uh, uh, not very uh, uh, photogenic, so, so one of those which doesn't appeal, appear well on a photograph, but it isn't at all unappealing material. And also very interesting, a, a, a deposit I've encountered once, the Kapata deposit, was sometime last year or maybe the year before. I get a regular supply of material from the Congo um, because it really interests me and it's very, very aesthetic material always. And this would have been from Kapata. You'll see there's a little bit of hematite on the top, I think maybe specular hematite, so some may call it specularite, and then of course the little botroids of the malachite in between. Size-wise, just under a palm size, so good size too.